and you're live. <laughs> All right. Here I am. Good morning, everyone. So uh, we had a, a thumbnail up and we had a description in the um, show notes and we were ready to go, but the um, StreamYard would not cooperate with us. It's probably user error. We're new to it, so um, it very well could be that we just don't know what we're doing completely yet with it. So anyway, um, we've started over. Tom just ran into the house to put um, information in the um, show notes, which is the, the meet more underneath the video. So um, when he comes back out, we're going to do a walk and talk. So this is something that we used to do regularly every Sunday we would go for a four mile walk and talk and take y'all with us. So we haven't done that um, for a while. And so now we just do it occasionally, sporadically, but you, you all seem to really enjoy it and we have fun doing it as well. So put your shoes on, head outside and walk and talk and listen if you wish, or hop on your treadmill or do some yoga or maybe where you live you've been up longer than we have and maybe you have already done your exercise for the day so if so get your smoothie cup of tea a cup of coffee and uh, relax with us or just listen while you're maybe batch prepping today or cleaning your house Ooh, after this bundle week, I cannot wait to clean my house. We'll post a picture of what the kitchen looks like. So my kitchen is set up like um, a, a TV studio right now. Lights, cameras, action, wires uh, everywhere. It's crazy. And then I'm trying to cook around all that stuff. So um, it's been a, a, just a little hectic. So, um, so it's Saturday. What do you typically, y'all typically do on Saturdays? Please um, chime in and let me know you're here because I feel like I'm just talking to myself right now. Rich is in the house. So he says my mic is a little fuzzy. Thank you. I will move it and let's see if we can make it better. We have new mics that we're trying out. So we'll see, let me know if that's any better. And I feel like maybe my jacket was rubbing it where it was. So our neighborhood is just a buzz of activity this morning. It's usually really, really quiet on weekends, but um, there's been lots of vehicles going by and people out walking, which is really nice. So a beautiful day to get out and go for a walk. There goes a lawn service, and um, looks like it's gonna be a busy day in the neighborhood. So, uh, as you guys know, we've been talking all about the bundle the past week. Two days left, today and tomorrow. So you have until 11.59 Sunday evening Pacific time, um, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time to get the bundle. And so if, oh, Rich says it's better. Thank you, Rich, I appreciate that. Um, so a little bit of time left to um, get that if you want it. Uh, we've been doing shows every day going live since last Friday. And so we have a lot of content on YouTube telling you all about the bundle, what's in it, um, 150 plus pieces of digital content valued at eight thousand dollars and yours for only 49. here's my other half hello so did she stretch did she buy me in on on tv you know they wanted to the do stretch. to stretch the dialogue i did i did stretch it okay i did i told him right. we were having some technical difficulties rich said my mic was fuzzy so i moved it up here and he says it's better now so I think okay. that my well, jacket... Okay, well, I might have been... My mic is on, and I was pretty far from the receiver. So oh. I didn't think about that until later. Okay. So well, so far, so, so good. So, yeah, I, I had this whole thing set up. And then, right. and then this phone, I had the, the stream all set up, like some of you that were watching earlier saw. Yes. And then this phone would... Uh, streamer would only let this phone come on as a guest. And the guest can't start the stream, so... 
so we couldn't do it. So I, clearly I need to watch some more YouTube videos <laughs> about that whole situation. Yeah, so. and learn how to do it. Anyway. That's good. Well, the sun is shining. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to need to go to the street. Oh, we got a bunch of people going. What is going on? Why is all these people in our neighborhood? <laughs> It's a high activity morning, I think. Yeah, it is Saturday, I guess. <laughs> it is, and then it's a beautiful spring day. So yeah. finally we have decent weather. Yeah. Good, morning. Good morning. So. I just wanted to always wonder if they wonder. They don't the, know if they're on it or not. They all wave. Oh, because the camera. Because they, the camera, they don't know which direction the camera is going. Okay. So um, we still have lots of trees in bloom absolutely beautiful so so nice it just feels good to get out get moving yeah we'll have some pretty walks here for a while we will let's see there we go very nice so what are you guys doing today cleaning house doing laundry grocery shopping batch cooking exercising um, what are you going to be doing oh my goodness looking through the bundle we had a family meeting this morning about what we're going to do. She, uh, she found this um, uh, offering in the bundle about organization. I don't remember the guy's name. Are you not? I'm on 5G. So it should so be So our there. screen went blank. What's it happening on there? Did we freeze out? Yeah. Now we're back. Okay. We'll see. Because the 5G, the Verizon has served us well in previous walking talks here. I don't know. Is it because we got away from the house? It shouldn't well, have. Well, I, I turned Wi-Fi off. I know. It was weird, though. Yeah. I don't know. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. But we're going to... From the bundle, she found an organization site. And so now we're going to, in April, be doing a systematic approach to decluttering our life. So, yes. We have lots of closets full of stuff. When our kids moved out... They left a lot of stuff, and we're still storing it for them. We think it's time to let them choose what they want to do with it, but not have it be at our house. Our, fun, our son didn't finally make the call on that one bin in the garage when I said, yes. I'm going to donate it or you need to take it. He said, just donate it. Right. He decided he didn't want any of it. <laughs> it was all stuff from like when he was in college or something. Oh, and it's it's been... In our garage for 10 years. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's time to purge a lot of stuff. So those two cabinets that we have in the garage too, I'd like to get rid of those and get some different cabinetry. Some real storage for, bins. Yeah, for storage for like all of our hiking uh -huh. gear and the extra kitchen stuff that doesn't fit in the kitchen. And Which um, there's, there's, some of that, and some of that we use, but we and don't have room it, to store it. And some of it we can get rid of, yeah. I was thinking. Like, can we let loose of the old cuisine art uh, yes. food processor? Yes. Because it's a beast. It was like $600 for that. I'm sure I could no, sell it. No, it wasn't that much. Of yes, it was. Four ninety five. No, I got that big attachment thing to go with it. Big attachment. Wow, All somebody's moving. All of the attachment stuff, or getting new furniture. That was two. No, that's two moving trucks. Oh, is it two moving <coughs> trucks? Wow, that's never fun. Having to pack up all that stuff. That is never fun. Okay, so I don't know if if we're still going or not. I think we are. Yeah, you're moving. See, you're okay. looking at your. Hey, you guys, if you're watching. Log in and say hi. Tell us where you're watching from. Do you have and comments on your phone? Because I don't. Just one. Uh, okay. Just Rich. And let us know where you're watching from. So, uh, we do have a little bit of a breeze blowing. We have some cloud cover as well. But I think it's going to be a pretty decent day. So, I'm happy about that. So, oh gosh. My salad that I ate for lunch yesterday was so delicious. And I had some of that flatbread that I made um, out of the bundle recipes. That is so good. I took two of them and I put them in the air fryer for a little bit. And it kind of turned them into like crackers 
which was delicious. And I thought, oh, with some hummus, wouldn't that be nice? Rich says, hi, Tom. Hi, Rich. Uh, Belinda is watching from Ohio. Hello in Ohio. That's so nice. So what are you guys up to today? Feel free if you want to ask me questions. You can put questions in the chat, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Of course, Rich is watching from Sacramento, so he is close by. And what's the weather like in Ohio? Oh, with these microphones, today. so we can have a bigger view. Oh, you think so? Because we've got our mics on. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. If okay, so the, this is the first time we're using these new these little clips. These new little clip-on mics. Because it, because the thing that goes on the phone is a tiny little, much lighter weight thing that doesn't mess with our gimbal equipment. So um, I've just used these a couple of times in the house but like right now there's a bit of breeze going so hopefully it's not all like all blowing on the microphone right here right so but anyway oh tell uh, them about the podcast you're participating in the real men eat plants podcast. yeah i've done a couple of episodes on a podcast it's also on youtube or your favorite podcast resource and I'm not an avid podcaster, so I don't know. I, I know that there's, there's Apple, there's Apple and Spotify and and others, right? But uh, R M E P, Real Men Eat Plants, and a gentleman named Brian hosts that. He does a very professional job, and he has different guests on each week, uh, and talks about a different subject. And what's what's interesting or different is. It's just guys, so far. Uh, you know, I, I'm not to, not that they wouldn't, have, you know, interview one of the ladies, have one of the ladies come on, but but the panels and well, the, it's real men eat plants. Real men eat plants. So all the guests have been men. The host is, is it every men. week? I think he puts something up every week. Yeah, I've only been in a couple of them, but but yeah, there's a schedule, a weekly schedule where he releases those. Nice. And they cover a variety of topics. So. Um, and have uh, folks on from different different uh, niches of the plant-based world. So, anyway, it's nice. it's uh, it's a different thing because you know, uh, uh, in terms of plant-based community, the field seems to be pretty much dominated by women. Well, you know, it's interesting, though, that the the in terms of doctor, the career, yeah, the yeah, doctors it, who had led the way and did the research are all men, yeah, which is interesting. Um, but of course, years ago, the medical field was predominantly dominated by men, so yeah. I guess that makes sense. So, Belinda says it's cloudy but not too cold in Ohio. Deborah says you both sound great. I'm in Malvern and it will be 57 today. Uh, Kay is on. She says, hi, Tom and Tammy. So oh, nice to Kay see you both north. All right. out and about. Shaw, snow on the ground in northeast Washington. We have four hydroponic towers cranking out greens. Awesome. That's so cool, Kay. Good to hear from you. And Belinda says it's supposed to get up to 57 there today. Oh, that house is turning over again. I don't know what it is about this house, you guys. Nobody stays in it for more than like two years at a time. Really? Yeah, it's, it has turned over so many You're times. Talk about fries moving in storage. <laughs> wow. The guys are here, they it's are. moving day. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, well, that is so interesting. So, well, everybody enjoy the, the warmer weather if it's warming up where you are if the sun is shining soak it up it feels so good well we went outside yesterday and had tea outside and walked around and checked out what's growing what, what are those blooms coming up here daffodils and um hyacinths yes i believe are coming up so Tom planted bulbs for me, and they Not, are, I, I was late. I didn't get them in the ground till like January, de late December, early January. Yeah, 
So they came up, but some of them were starting to sprout when they were still in the bag. Right. Uh, maybe that's the ones that have been slower to come up now. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Belinda says, I think more and more men are becoming interested in eating plants. My husband is mostly vegetarian, but he still eats cheese. So, you know, not everybody can transfer over all at once. Some people do need to transition into it a little bit at a time, and that's okay. That's okay. At least, hey, at least he's vegetarian, so that's awesome. So, very good. I had a thought, and now I've lost it. I got watching the movers. It was like, oh, wait. Now I've squirreled. There's something happening in the neighborhood. Oh, my yeah. goodness. People are moving. Oh, yeah. What happened? Didn't they like it here? I know. Maybe their neighbors were irritating. Did we scare them away? Uh, we usually walk earlier. There's a lot less walkers. Here, let's go left. When we walk like, uh, early here. Okay, we'll go left. That lady uh, didn't know which way we're going to go. I know. Well, we don't always know which way Good we're going to go. Hi. So, um, so, we have a new series coming up, you guys. We're going to start it on Tuesday with our friend Sia from 60 Living. Sia lives in Greece, and um, if you've been around a while, you know that we went on a cruise, uh, gosh, two and a half years ago now, I think, and um, we met, we were in Greece, and we met Sia, kind of a long story, we'll probably recap it at some point in time um, during our series talks, but uh, we just hit it off and became really good friends. You know, I don't have any sisters, um, and so I think I gravitate towards strong friendships with other women, always looking for that sister I never had. So I have lots of soul sisters in my life um, that I've been fortunate to um, meet and become friends with, so that's always really cool. And anyway, um, she has the website 60 Living, and she does uh, holds a lot of book clubs, all, all whole food, plant-based information, um, book clubs, and lots of community-type groups, because she didn't have anybody in Greece that um, was eating like her, and so she's developed a whole online community. So we're doing um, eight weeks, um, whole food plant-based lifestyle topics, how to make it easier to live this lifestyle. We'll have a different topic every week for eight weeks. It's starting this coming Tuesday. You can tune in at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which will be two o'clock Eastern. Tom will send out an email on Monday. Monday? Yeah. But only subscribers to nutmegnotebook.com will get that email. That's right. So you need to hop on over to nutmegnotebook.com and subscribe. And we never share your email information. And you will get um, every week, you'll get the email with what our topic is. We'll be doing it live, so you guys are going to be able to ask us questions. Now, if you do that today, you will get a couple of bundle-related emails over the next two days. Right. Because the bundle is ending tomorrow. And then we will all be done <laughs> talking about getting the bundle, and we can focus on what's in the bundle that we already have. Right. So, anyway, um, and, um, and we're going to be doing something fun later today, too. So... Yeah. So, so, so if you haven't subscribed to Nutmeg Notebook on YouTube, you'll want to subscribe so that you'll get notification yeah. when we go live later today. Yeah, we haven't picked our exact time yet, but we're going to do something fun this afternoon. Yep. And, and so, yeah, what do they say? Watch this space. <laughs> Something's happening this afternoon. That's right. Stay tuned, everybody. So, so anyway... So we have that coming up, and then of course we have Tom um, in the Real Men Eat Plants podcast. Well, I'm, I'm in that sometimes. I, I sometimes, yeah. yeah. I wasn't in it. Uh, but I'm encouraging them to find oh, Real to find, Men Yeah, there's eat two plants. episodes I'm in, yeah. 
and uh, and start watching that. And if you have men in your life that have not completely adopted this lifestyle, perhaps listening to a podcast that is done by men yeah. about a whole food plant-based lifestyle might be something that would be very appealing and it's to the, It's your... not all old guys. There's a couple, <laughs> of, there's a couple of middle-aged guys. Yes. So yeah. Brian's pretty young. So anyway, just there's so many resources now for us. Uh, you know that there's something to appeal to everyone. I feel like so oh, all the blooms are pretty, and when the wind blows, they're falling down, and it almost looks like snow as you're coming past them. So pretty. So I love that. Oh, look at that dog. It's pushing a ball. That is too yeah, darn I, cute. It's on a cart. It has a, you know, its back, back legs aren't working dog. so good. Can you flip it around and show them? That is so cute. I don't know. It's one of those dogs with wheels. He's got like a wheelchair. It's a little attachment. And he's just, he's... He's chasing that ball. He's chasing that ball around. As happy as can be. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know if, okay, it's pretty far away. Yeah. Well, if she's still there when we come back around, we might get to, there it goes now. Oh, that's so cute. So, a lot of people like to bring their dog out here to this park. It says no dogs allowed because it's actually a soccer field, but um, hopefully everybody's responsible and cleans up after their pooches. Oh, we're slow this morning. A lot of delays talking and, and I stood there for a long time in the driveway talking before I headed out so that goes you were doing fine I, I had you on the computer momentarily as I was filling out the show notes in the thumbnail uh -huh. I wanted to get the thumbnail back up so that people that saw the first one that got deleted would sort out that they were back on the right oh well again. that's probably a good idea to do that so I think that's good. <laughs> oh, so let's see. We didn't see the grandkids yesterday because um, they have all got colds as well as their mama. So they were like, oh, you better stay away from us. You guys can't get sick right now. You're too busy. So hopefully we're at the end of cold and flu season and everyone can get healthy, stay healthy and enjoy some beautiful weather it would be nice. So um, I was gonna tell you too that we went and bought salad ingredients. We batch prepped our salads yesterday and we went to, whole, to um, not Whole Foods, but we went to Walmart again. It's close, it's convenient, and the dates on their organic um, produce are pretty good. So we were able to get our organic shredded kale there. We got organic spinach already triple washed, ready to go. We got arugula and the arugula was the best arugula, best looking arugula we've had in a while. They had red cabbage, shredded carrots, and their bags of shredded carrots, Tom was like, oh, we should have weighed them because they totally looked like and felt like they were more than a pound. Um, they were terrific. So, um, yeah, we were able to get everything there for our batch prepped salads, which was really awesome. And then, oh my gosh, my salad at lunch yesterday was so good because we had all these amazing leftovers <coughs> from all the food I've been cooking from the batch prep or from the bundle recipes. And so I had a um, beautiful salad with a little bit of everything. It was delicious. And what did I have? You had dump soup. <laughs> and what I, what did what I dump in my soup? <laughs> you all did. the leftovers. Bits. <laughs> Cabbage and pepper and all. She had this dish of random vegetable bits. And I, then I said, is this for something? And she says, no, that's just all left over from all the different recipes. So 
I dumped it in my soup. It was perfect because then it doesn't go to waste and it was great. You can also throw a lot of that stuff in your salads, especially if you're gonna chop your salad, you can do that. And then last night for dinner, we had the um, cauliflower, potato cauliflower turmeric soup that was a blended soup that was out of the um, bundle ebook, Great North India Vegan Cookbook. Great North Indian. India. No, is it, oh, it's just India. India. Great North India. Okay. Uh huh. Because it's North India. The recipes okay. are from North India. Yeah. Um, somebody else moving. And um, and then we also had a rice dish from that same cookbook left over. So we took the rice and added it after we heated up the soup um, and it was already blended. Then we added the rice, the leftover rice to it that uh, had a lot of flavor to it. And that was delicious, so good. And then um, when I had taken, I took a, some of all that India food over to Chef AJ and Charles. And when I did that, she gave me some banana bread that she had made. So we had that for dessert. And that recipe wasn't from the bundle, but it's from our friend Shada. And her website and YouTube channel is Healthy Cooking with Shada. And her banana bread recipe, you guys, is top notch really really delicious so um, she sometimes makes it in muffin cups and sometimes as a loaf and AJ made it as a loaf and then she cut banana and laid banana on top of it before she baked it and so it looked really pretty as well so check out healthy cooking with Shada and her banana bread recipe I'm sure she has a video on YouTube for it and then a written recipe will be on her website so that was really good and then we ate the last of Chef AJ's Goodman uh, peanut chews that I had made and that recipes in the bundle so super delicious um, we've just been eating like kings and queens this week let me tell you okay Elizabeth says, you've been busy with this bundle thing. Yes, we have. Uh, Belinda says, that is an excellent way to use up leftovers. It is. So, you know, so speaking of leftovers, you guys, if you have, I, uh, Winco, Rich says, Winco is starting to carry one pound earthbound spinach, power greens, etc., in the tubs. Oh, good to know. A lot like Costco, another way to go if you happen to be close. They even have uh, soy, non-soy tofu and everything else. That's good to know. More and more organic too at Winco. Yeah, they do, the last time I was in there, they did have a small section of, or, or, of organic. I think I was able to get spring mix and something else. Um, at Walmart, we can also get the organic broccoli slaw, the organic shredded carrots. We're able to get everything organic there to go into our salads, which is really nice. So, but anyway, um, Elizabeth says, I don't see banana bread on Shada's channel or website. Maybe it will be coming. No, I'm pretty sure it's there. Maybe it's a different but, name. It, yeah, it could be. It might be banana bread muffins. Do a search and see if she's got muffins. It's not from one of her on cookbooks, there. is it? No, uh -uh. no. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's on her website, but um, but I haven't looked for it, so we, I can't we say. We can look sure. and leave a comment in the in the. No, we can leave a comment comment down below in the yeah. comments. Yeah, yeah, we can. Not in the notes, but in the okay in the or comments. We can put it in the show notes too in the comments we can look so anyway what i was going to say about repurposing leftovers if you have um like leftover chili or um 
a leftover lentil stew, something that's pretty thick. You can take some of that. Hold on and, a second. I got to close these. Okay. You uh, can take some of that and you can mix uh, uh, rolled oats with it until it gets to the right consistency to make veggie burgers out of it. And that way you can repurpose it, serve it up a little bit different. You can take it, instead of making veggie burgers too, you can take and mix your oats with it. Or if you have a veggie burger recipe you like, instead of making a flat um, veggie patty, you can roll up into balls and you can air fry them. So somewhere between like 385 and 400 and for how long will depend on how big the the veggie balls are and you know how long will also depend on your air fryer the smaller air fryers cook things faster the bigger ones like the breville take a little bit longer but you can do a bigger quantity in them but it makes them nice and crispy on the outside and then i just um, like how they're still moist on the inside and when I freeze veggie burgers then a lot of times we will heat them up in the air fryer so if you're in a real hurry you can start it in the microwave to thaw them out and then pop them in the air fryer just to crisp them up a bit and um, that's just a fun different way to serve those up you've got leftover cooked sweet potatoes or batch prepped Yukon gold potatoes or any kind, cut them up into fries and throw them in the air fryer and uh, make air fried, oil free, air fried uh, potato wedges out of them. Make some of my chipotle nacho cheese dip and dip them in that. Ooh, so yummy, 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 yummy. That's some really good eating. Let me tell you. So let's see, what else is somebody saying? Uh, Elizabeth said, I don't see anything under banana muffins or bread. Hmm, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that AJ said it was Shada's we'll find out. recipe and we had them a couple months ago when we were at Shada's house, but I didn't look up the recipe, but I'll look and see. If not, if it's not out then, if it's not there, then maybe it's coming out in her book which is um, going to be coming out next month. So I'll find out for you. I'll let you know. So let's see. Oh, um, Drina Burton has a really good banana bread recipe too. It's on her blog. So look up uh, Drina Burton banana bread. And I use her recipe all the time to make banana muffins for the grandkids. And you can add dried fruit to them. You can add chocolate chips. Um, you could add nuts if you wanted to. And those are really good and easy. And a tip for the um, muffin mixes, including my quinoa banana oat muffins and my um, cornbread muffins, is when I've got the dry ingredients out, I go ahead and make muffin mixes for myself. And I'll do anywhere from like four to six, if I, as long as I have enough of the dry ingredients and put them into containers. You can use quart size baggies if you wish, or um, put them in Tupperware. And so you add all of the dry ingredients. And then when you go to make muffins, you don't have to get all the spices, all the dry stuff out because you've already got mixes made up and all you have to do then is add the wet ingredients this makes it so easy so um, when I have a lot of bananas I'll go ahead and puree up bananas that are ripe and freeze those in the quantities that I need for the different muffin recipes so I saw in my freezer yesterday I have a cup of frozen oh, banana in there. Oh, you're going to show them the duckies. There's two ducks in this little duck pond. Yeah. Out there in the middle. Well, their heads are in the water. 
They're so cute. They're so peaceful. So anyway, that's a really good time-saving tip. And then from Chef AJ, I learned for the dishes that the recipes that I make frequently to go ahead save my empty spice jars so if I'm gonna make my chipotle nacho cheese sauce then I'll fill up four bottles of spice spices with the spices in it for that it's a helicopter and I will just label what it's for and so for the things that we make on a frequent basis, that's really um, a time saver. So, and Tom oftentimes makes the chipotle nacho cheese sauce, so he appreciates not having to get out all the individual spices and all the measuring spoons. And so, you know, that, that just saves a lot of time. And when he cooks rice, you know, he cooks a big batch of rice fills the six quart instant pot. We have recipes on how to make perfectly granular brown rice or white rice on our YouTube channel. And um, it just, then we divide it up. No, not we, he does, because he's the rice man. Um, he divides them up into four cup containers and then we put them in the freezer. So that way we always have a supply of rice. I cook my oat groats. I make a batch of those recipes on the YouTube channel and on the blog. And then I freeze it in half cup servings and I'll use it in place of rice. And that's a huge time saver as well. So, you know, just anything that we can do to cut our time for food prep we are all over because boy does it make a big difference all right so oh we're starting to get some flowers look little purple ones right here are blooming right there uh -huh. nice oh our sun went away it did get cooler but it's still beautiful so beautiful so, and then like at the end of the week, take a look in your refrigerator, see what produce you have that is going to go to waste if you don't use it up. And know that so many things can be frozen. So I have frozen the raw carrots. Uh, you can freeze celery. So they're not gonna be crisp when you thaw them out bell peppers the same. You can freeze them. So they'll be good for cooking though. You can use them in recipes. You wouldn't put them in a salad, but you would put them in a soup or a stir fry, something like that. And then the greens. If we have some kale left over at the end of the week, some spinach, even arugula, we'll just put those in Ziploc bags and pop them in the freezer. Then they can be chopped up and they can put in, be put in with a vegetable stir fry, oil free of course, or they can be added to a soup, a stew, a chili, what have you. So you won't be able to serve them like fresh, um, but they're great to use in cooked recipes then. So you don't have to throw everything out. So much can be frozen salad dressings, hummus, cheese sauce. Um, if you're just cooking for one or two people, remember you can cut recipes in half or quarter them to make them the right size for you. If you have a high-speed blender and you need to make some of those things in a high-speed blender, you need enough quantity that covers the blades. Otherwise, it won't um, blend it properly so you can get you know a small little um, like two cup blender if you want or an attachment for your Vitamix if your Vitamix accepts attachments how are they hearing you that helicopter is actually circling us. I don't know what is going on can you guys hear the helicopter 
um, or know that you can freeze. Oh, here comes another one. Oh my goodness. Well, there must be something going on, so that creeps me out. Because um, here comes a second helicopter. And is it a police helicopter? Well, the first one I thought was like a Cal Fire, because it had the the kind of the Coast Guard-y looking stripes. Okay, look at this one. See what you think this one is. I don't know. I can't tell. It could be a news, local news yeah. one. Something's going on. Okay, there's some comments have rolled by. Okay, I'm you reading. Should check. We had. Um, so anyway, salad dressing, cheese sauce, um, gravy. You know, um, lots of different marinara, lots of different sauces that we make can be frozen, and then you'll thaw them out. If it's something like a cheese sauce or a salad dressing that has separated. Put it back in the blender or use a wire whisk and give it a nice um, stir and stir it back together. So, uh, you know, just when you first start a whole food plant-based lifestyle, it's a little hard in the beginning to figure out how much produce to buy. What all are you going to eat? Maybe you'll shop twice in a week or three times in the week instead of just once so that you can see how much you can eat in two or three days. And after a few weeks, you'll figure it out and you'll know, like we know exactly how much produce to buy for our salads. And so that doesn't go to waste. And because of the way we prep our salads, our salads can also be sauteed instead of just eaten raw. So we can eat them raw as is, we can chop them, which we prefer, or we can saute them and we've got two videos two recent videos on batch prepping salads take a look at that one is with ingredients that we bought at walmart and the other one was with ingredients we bought at costco and whole foods so check it out jk says yes i can hear you both just fine we can hear the helicopter belinda says but we can still hear you Okay, great. Now there's a plane going over. It's, it's a busy morning, you guys. Um, JK Sampley says, I'm on spring break from teaching starting today and very excited to dig into the bundle this week. That's awesome. So um, we've done multiple videos every day this past week on our YouTube channel here. So be sure and check those out. And um, we've gone over different recipes that we've tried. We've eaten some of them in real time. Yesterday was not the all. food. Yesterday was not the food. Yesterday was not the food. You want to tell them about that? Yeah, we went through the bundle pretty much line by line uh, with an eye for things that were health, wellness, personal development, strength training, loga, loga. Loga. <laughs> That's limbering and yoga. <laughs> yoga, I fascia like yoga from Babe, Drina Burton. You could start a new thing. A new trend. Tom's Loga. Loga. Okay. Loga. So anyway, um, yeah, yesterday's show was uh, because we had already a lot of food. So. Oh my gosh. So our we did not food bursting. yesterday. Yes. Well, it's because I've been cooking every day out of the bundle, even though I took grocery or food, prepped food, over to Chef AJ and Charles twice this past week. We still, yesterday, our refrigerator was still full of cooked food, and I was like, we cannot, we cannot cook any more food today. Plus, I just needed a break from cooking, and um, so, so we did, we covered the non-food items that are in the bundle, which there is a lot of, and so um, be sure and take a look at yesterday's video to see what we highlighted. Oh, let's see. All right, and so anyway, I was talking about food prep. Hmm, anything you want to add to the food prep conversation that I forgot? We're running low on Yukon gold uh, potatoes. Potato. I know, I saw that. <laughs> because I went to to prep my uh, dump soup yesterday and noticed there's only a couple of left in that big bag. Somebody has been cooking with potatoes. Well, this I last made week. the I made my potato corn chowder 
which I have to tell you guys, Chef AJ loves that soup. Um, she said that it's one of her favorites. And um, so I took them two uh, good sized containers of it. So she popped one in the freezer that, so they can have that this coming week. And so I think that one takes like four pounds of potatoes, but it makes a huge pot full. It makes eight quarts. I use the eight quart instant pot for it. And um, it has everything in it, you guys. So much delicious stuff in it. If you got the bundle, that recipe is in the bundle. Um, it's also on our website and it's so delicious. So um, make sure you check that out. And um, and it freezes too, so we froze. Let's go to the other we, side. Okay, let's do. So we froze some of it as well. So that used up a lot of potatoes. And then I made the potato cauliflower. Uh, what's that? What was it called? Ulu Gabi or something? I don't remember. I don't know the English or the Indi, Indian pronunciations um, for the food, but it was a potato cauliflower dish that I made out of the um, the Great North India Vegan Cookbook. And um, and that was delicious as well. What else? Did I, I made something else with the call. Oh, I made the cauliflower soup. So I had, I got the biggest head of cauliflower I, I have I thought ever. you said you had the biggest head. <laughs> no, I bought. <laughs> I bought. I'm, I don't think my head's that big. But I bought the biggest head of cauliflower I have ever seen at Whole Foods the other day. I didn't get to see it. I know, because I had to cut it up. And so I used, um, I used it for two recipes. Like each recipe called for a lot of cauliflower. And so I had that huge head. And I was able to get two recipes of, of, um, out of one head of cauliflower. So, And that soup was really good, too, and super easy to make, I might add. And so um, for any of the information about the recipes that I've made, check out our videos because in there I tell you the name of the book, um, the name of the recipe, and I may even have mentioned the page number for you. Sharon says, just joined in from Los Angeles County. Really enjoyed all the many postings this week. Oh, thank you so much. And we're in Northern California. Uh, J.K. Sampley says, are there any sauces or dressings that don't freeze well? You know, it's all about experimentation. You just have to freeze some of it and see what happens. So I always suggest make uh, put a small amount in a container, freeze it overnight, and then see how it does the next day. And um, All the soups freeze really well. Yeah. We Pumice freeze. freezes really well. Yep. The cheese sauce... I would think would probably it does, separate a little bit. It separates a little bit, but you can just whip it uh -huh. or put it back in the blender and then it's uh, fine. You can heat it up, add a little bit of milk to it. So sometimes after something's been frozen, it's going to be a little bit drier. So, Tom, you're losing me. Okay. It's going to the street. Um, we're going to have to go to the street. Okay. Up here. Just get past this. We can cross on the rocks here. Okay, right here. So, um, so like some of the soups, like the minestrone soup, um, you might have to add more broth to it afterwards. Same with the potato corn chowder. You might have to... Morning. Good morning. You might have to add a little bit of broth or plant milk or water to it. There are some things that get thicker. Um, but, yeah, I, we freeze most of our soups because I make them in big batches because why not? It doesn't take any more time to make a, a big batch or a double batch than it does a single batch. It's just a few more minutes of cutting, but you only have to do cleanup one time, which I love. So, um, and then we divide it up in the super cubes. We have a video all about super cubes for you guys so you can see what we do for our freezer storage. Um, and that works out well because then we always have what Tom calls fast food. We make our own healthy, whole food, plant-based fast food because we can pull it out of the freezer and 
You can heat it up in a pan on the stove top or you can microwave it and um, have a meal in no time. And then if you add starch, potatoes, rice, whatever your favorite grains are and add a salad, you got the perfect meal. And you can always add extra greens to your soups just to get in those dark leafy greens. Super important, you know, Dr. Esselstyn says we should have six handful servings of those greens every day. Now look at this. Oh my gosh, that plane is flying so low. What is going on? And now sirens are going off. Oh. I don't know, have you got it in there or not? There, there it is. is. Wow, it's flying really low, you guys. So Sharon says, every time I make my soups and sauces, I always freeze a portion. Great. And so, um, you know, if you're- Where's the turn around button? Uh, oh, did I zoom in? I, didn't, I don't think I zoomed in. I don't know. You see, the, where's the turn around button? I don't see it. What happened? It's not that. No. I don't know. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Good job. Uh, wow, a lot of action going on in the neighborhood, you guys. We're going to have to go home and just see what's happening. Um, I forgot my train of thought. Uh, Crystal says, are any of the bundle recipes for gaining weight maybe high protein? Uh, I don't recall anything like that. So um, do remember that when we're eating a whole food plant-based lifestyle, there is protein in almost everything that we eat. So add more beans, add more tofu. You can add more avocado, nuts and seeds, all of those quinoa. things. Yeah, quinoa is very high in protein. So um, just you can add more of those higher calorie density, but yet whole foods, um, chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds. Those have uh, omegas and they also have healthy fat for you uh, and they're but they're you know gonna be add calories to you so um, so if you need to gain weight then you can do that and you could always have a consultation with one of the plant-based doctors or a plant-based registered dietitian and have them help you figure out what you um, need we most of the doctors in the plant-based community do not recommend using like protein powders because they've usually taken and isolated the protein and so um, it has a higher IGF-1 which contributes to the growth of cancer cells and so better idea to use whole foods to uh, get those extra calories if you need to gain weight. Okay. Well, I think that is about it for today. Yep. What do you think? Yep. We got to go in and get started uh, on the next yeah. show. Yeah, we got to go get ready for you all um, for what we're going to do this afternoon. It's going to really be fun. So I hope you'll tune back in with us later today and see what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, so thanks for joining us fun. on the walk. Any, any last comments to check or are you good? I think that I caught everybody. Barbara said she just watched Nate's on the Ninja Creamy. And, um, oh, and AJ mentioned um, me giving them food. Yep, I fed them well this week, y'all. So trying to keep her stamina up so she can keep doing uh, all those live shows every day about the bundle. So anyway, it was really fun hanging out with you this morning. Thanks for joining us. And um, thanks so much for commenting yeah. and asking questions. Yeah. That makes it so much more fun yeah. for us. If you haven't already done so, follow the link in the show notes to check out the bundle. Uh, it's a bit.ly link, you know, bit.ly nutmeg bundle, something vegan bundle 2024. I forgot what I put in there. It ends um, March 10th, 1159 PM yeah. Pacific standard time. So you just have a little bit of time left. If you're watching this after the, the bundle, stay tuned for next year's. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, Tammy and I'm Tom and we help you get, get healthy, healthy and stay healthy. healthy one bond. walk at a time. One walk <laughs> at a time. Okay. Yeah, All right. One walk at a time. See you time later. Today. Bye.